Hello, this is Stephen from Highland Astronomy, and this is my review of the Celestron 100 by 25 giant astronomical binoculars. Now, I've owned these for a couple of years. These are not my go-to binoculars. Obviously, I use something much smaller than that. I tend to use an 8 by 40 or a 10 by 50 for quick views of the night sky. But we actually purchased a couple of these for outreach. I run two astronomical programs up in the Highlands. And in addition to handheld binoculars, we wanted a couple of big binoculars for use out at Abriakin and at the Nature Reserve here in Inverness. And they certainly uh, give you fantastic views if you mount them properly. Now, uh, let's just talk about some of the specs. So we have 100 millimeter objectives. These are huge. Uh, I mean, you've effectively got two refracting telescopes stuck together. The light gathering power is phenomenal for a binocular. And the magnification is 25. So if you're looking at something like the moon, uh, the views are astonishing. It really does give you almost uh, telescopic views of the moon. Um, the one thing though, or the one advantage is the field of view is reduced, so it's about three degrees, which is, you know, three um, of your pinkies held out in front of you, stacked um, side by side. That's the kind of uh, field you're going to get. Now that's more than wide enough uh, to view the moon, of course, which is only half a degree, and it's also more than adequate for most of the star clusters you might want to look at. So the Pleiades, for example, easily fits within the view of these binoculars. But what you will notice is that it can be quite tricky to target objects. So obviously telescopes can be difficult for finding objects or pinpointing them. And your mindset might be with a binocular that it will be easy to find the objects. Well, I've noticed, you know, using this for a couple of years now, it can be difficult um, or trickier. Uh, to find the objects and target them. But having said that, once you have them in view, you will get stunning views. Now, in case you were thinking it was possible, I want to get one thing out of the way straight away, which is don't even think about hand-holding these. They um, cannot be held um, steady in the hand. Possibly for a few seconds you could hold them up to the moon, but you're not going to get enjoyable views at all. So you really do need an adequate mount. Now, I've gone for this First Horizon 8115 tripod, which I would say is at the lower limit of stability for these binoculars. It's just about usable. Um, if I could buy um, a mount again, I'd probably get something a wee bit sturdier um, or something uh, that allowed me to have more of a relaxed view. They work, um, but I just want to keep that in your mind. These are heavy binoculars, so do not think you can buy a cheap mount for them. You're going to have to invest you know, at least a couple of hundred pounds in the tripod. Now, in terms of what you can see through these binoculars, um, as I said, the moon is stunning. What I found um, the best thing to look at, though, was actually faint um, fuzzies, uh, deep sky objects. For example, the Andromeda galaxy... Uh, you can see the whole disk of Andromeda, and under a suitable dark sky, Andromeda really looks stunning. And some of the pairs and triples of galaxies, like the um, Triple in Leo, for example, or Bode's Nebula and its companion, M82, uh, they really pop in these binoculars. So for me, um, I've got most pleasure looking at uh, things of that nature. Orion's Nebula, another object that looks really great in these binoculars. Uh, in terms of planets, I can make out the phase of Venus just, and I have been able um, to kind of see the ears of Saturn, the ring system, but not in any great detail. For that, you're going to need to move up to a telescope. So overall then, the views are stunning. You're going to need to mount it adequately. What comes with these binoculars? Well, you do get a case. I'm just going to show you that. 
Uh, a lot of people have criticised this case, but I actually find it absolutely adequate. Um, it's, you know, loosely padded, but it's very quick to take the binocular in and out of. Yes, um, you know, if you drop the binoculars with this case, it's not necessarily going to protect them. But for me, I don't want an ex the extra weight of a very robust case. So I'm, I'm more than happy with this case. It gives just enough um, protection. Um, and if you're that worried about your equipment, you can obviously invest in something heavier. So there you go. That's my review. Do I recommend them? Yes, I do. Um, I'd say it's more of a specialist binocular. Um, and also, once you get up to this size of binocular, you're kind of getting into telescope territory. So think carefully about that. But what they do offer you is that lovely kind of stereo view. And it just makes observing much more relaxing. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. That's my review of the Celestron Skymaster 100 by 25 giant astronomical binocular. Thank you for watching.